All right, members of the jury, have you uh, elected a foreperson? Would you um, uh, uh, give your journal, please? 54. 54, and uh, has the jury reached a verdict as to each count of the information? Yes, we have, Your Honor. One verdict and one verdict only? Yes. Would you hand all the paperwork to the bailiff, please? Yes, it's the ones that we did ignore. Uh, everything. Okay. Yeah, thanks. See that too, please, uh, Mrs. Chairman. Thank you. Then will rise and face the jury and hearken to its verdicts. State of Wisconsin versus Kyle Rittenhouse. As to the first count of the information, Joseph Rosenbaum, we, the jury, find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. As to the second count of the information, Richard McGinnis, we, the jury, find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. As to the third count of the information, unknown male, we, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the fourth count of the information, Anthony Cuber, we, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the fifth count of the information, Gage Grosskreutz, we, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. Members of the jury, are these your unanimous verdicts? Is there anyone who does not agree with the verdicts as read? No. Uh, would you wish the jury pulled? No. Okay. Uh, okay, folks, your uh, job is done, and uh, we started just about three weeks ago. And I, uh, I told you it could last two weeks and two days. This is two weeks. This is three weeks. Uh, you were a wonderful jury to work with. You were punctual. You were attentive. Um, and the forgotten six over here who had a, a, a very difficult job of uh, keeping from discussing the case during the time that they were sequestered as well. All of you, you just, I, I couldn't have asked for a better jury to work with. And uh, it has truly been my pleasure. Uh, you've, I think, uh, without commenting on your verdict, the verdicts themselves, just in terms of your um, the attentiveness and the cooperation that you gave to us, uh, this justifies the confidence that the founders of our country placed in you. 